Greetings, Wasteland Travelers! Blank Check here. Today, I'm having fun and no one can stop me! Guys, you could call me a fan of Fallout Equestria. I read the entire story in the span of five days in the middle of finals week in my freshman year at my university. That was quite a week. And, and classes went well, I do prioritize my work, but that's beside the point. My point is, I was hooked. I was engaged from the get-go. And the further I got in, and the more I was swept into the story and the characters, the better it got. It still remains probably my favorite piece of fiction from this fandom. Maybe it can't be the best written or the most emotionally involved, but it's a story that fires on all cylinders and caters exactly to what I want. I loved following this band of misfits traveling across a desolate wasteland, encountering all sorts of personalities, all sorts of dangers, and fighting them head on, but also taking some time to ponder the gray spectrum of morality in this changed landscape that resembles nothing of the show we know. Speaking of which, I love how KCAT incorporated the backstory providing these memory orbs for Pip to access and see what happened to the main six during the war with the creation of the Ministries and Celestia's abdication in a gradual way that helps the pacing of the narrative. It's far from the tone of the show, but given the time jump and the circumstances, things are kept very much in character. There are a lot of twists and turns, a bunch of shocking moments, and the third act wraps up very nicely. Unlike another fic that I may have a video on later. But we're here for Fallout now, and I liked it so much that I wanted more. So I read Pink Eyes, which follows Puppy Smiles, a filly who lived during the war and was reanimated by her suit decades later after the bombs fell. I enjoyed it, but it didn't engage me as much as the original story. It has a strong emotional core with Puppy Smiles trying to find her mother, and it is certainly easy to sympathize but I felt such a disconnect with her character that empathy was a bit harder. But like I said, I had fun with it. And I still thirsted for more. Which led me to Project Horizons. And oh boy, some of you might have strong feelings one way or another on this one. At the time of recording, it's one chapter and one epilogue away from being completed, and it is well over twice the length of the original story. Project Horizons is kind of like Dragon Ball Z. It's bigger, it's louder, the power levels are going off the charts, the stakes are higher, people are dying everywhere, and you're never quite sure how permanent death is. Blackjack is even more screwed up than Pip, she's unabashedly profane, and maybe even more philosophical. The story pulls no punches, it gets darker, it gets gorier, it gets raunchier, and you pretty much see this from chapter one. Which I do think the beginning is a little rough, but it definitely ramps up. And I can understand why some fans of the original don't like it. There's a bit of retconning, it's really over the top, and some really crazy things happen in the second half. But at that point, I was too far down the hole to ever hope to come back up. Horizons is told parallel to the original for the most part in a different part of the wasteland. But it does a lot to flesh out the political backstory back in wartime. It introduces a new character who had a huge hand in setting up the Ministries and eventually seeing the downfall of Equestria. And for a long time, I was really captivated by the mystery surrounding this figure. The story has gone off the rails on multiple occasions, and I can't wait to see how Somber closes things. And now I am just babbling, so for now, let's call those my closing remarks on the fiction. Concerning videos, I have seen several things, including Argo Damon's Lightbringer and Leaving the Stable, which are both pretty phenomenal. Additionally, I've had fun keeping up with the music releases from the Wasteland Whalers. They have some of my favorite MLP compositions, and it sounds very different from the usual material we see. One thing it seems I have missed is a Fallout Equestria trailer by Lyra Animations. It came out a few months ago and has over 100,000 views, so I'm a bit surprised it passed me by. Based on the thumbnail, it looks like we're going to be following the original story using show-like animation, which is really exciting. On the other hand, Hero Strain released an SFM last week called Out of the Frying Pan, 
and its thumbnail shows both Pip and Blackjack, I believe, so I hope we're getting a crossover. And that's the main reason why I even mentioned Project Horizons earlier. I've seen some of Hero Strain's other works, and he does really well with the SFM, so I'm definitely excited to see what this is. And I suppose it's the one I'm going to start with so I can segue nicely over. So pop in your party time mentals for maximum viewing pleasure, and let's get this show on the road. Alright. Hero Strain presents. Oh, this is exciting, guys. Ooh. Nice texture work. I like it. What is that? Some old shack. And the city's in the background? Okay. Out of the frying pan, and Pip is walking along. Oh man, that lighting and the wind effects? This is starting off really strong. Uh, this map is huge, holy crap. Oh and oh and here's Blackjack and it's it's post cyber alicorn transformation. They're holding her at, at gunpoint? Okay. Oh, they're trying to force her to snipe. Alright. Alright, how are you gonna get out of this one? It's a nice scope. Man, oh, the framing in this. This is really good. Oh my goodness. Oh, she got it. Oh, she used the kickback to knock him out. Oh man, that's great. Oh, <laughs> screw your gun. I ate guns for breakfast. That was a nice drop kick. Oh my, oh, the uppercut. Holy crap. This is so good. Oh my god. <laughs> Remember when I told you I'd kill you last? I lied. Uh-oh, that's... Man, this model is really good on Blackjack. Holy crap. I love those those wings. Oh man. Oh, they're teleporting in. Oh, the tanks and everything. It's it's turning into Mad Max all of a sudden. Oh, run, Pip. I don't think you can outrun those. I don't, um... This is bad. Oh, and the slow-mo. Oh man, dodging bullets. Explosions everywhere. Holy crap! This is insane! Oh my god! Just... Oh, oh, uh, Blackjack got her. Okay. Alright. Uh, oh my goodness. I live, I die, I live again! Man, who's this? Oh, she's got... Ooh! Ooh, nice shot, though. Wow. Okay, they're in the city now. Oh, alright. <laughs> Smooth landing, Blackjack. Uh-oh, you guys are... Is that... Is that a nuke? Holy crap! Uh... This guy won't be needing that anymore, I guess. Blackjack's just like, yeah, you do what you do. Oh, man. Oh, and we're following the bullet. Nice zooming around. Oh, the cinematography here. Hero Strain, you are doing a phenomenal job. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. The, the building's collapsing. Holy crap. Oh, they got this, though, right? Oh, they're running through the building. The... The light on the pit buck is shining on Pip's face. That is, this is amazing. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, oh, that that's a long way. That's a concussion. Uh, okay. All right. Good job, Pip. You telekinesis overpowered freak. You. Oh, and I love. Yeah, Pip's so much tinier than Blackjack. That's great. Oh what? Oh man, those buildings just demolished. We made it out, though. Oh! Hoof bump! Hoof bump! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my god! That was a perfect ending. But holy crap! Oh my god, that was great! I don't... that... That might be one of my favorite... Not... I mean, it's, it is one of my, definitely, but it might be my favorite Fall Equestria animation. Oh, thanks guys for all the... All the wait, what? Deadpool. Uh, no, no, actually, as a matter of fact, I, I did not. I was focused on an amazing video. Like, wow, Hero Strain, you outdid yourself. This is... Oh, wow. This is definitely my favorite thing I've seen from you, and maybe my favorite Fallout Equestria video in general. I mean... Holy crap. That... Oh my goodness gracious. 
All right, guys, I'm just going to keep the train going and jump straight into the second one. Okay, make contain content inappropriate for children. After that last video, I, I don't even know what to expect. Okay, oh, that's a nice model for the uh, the robot butler. I can't remember the the term, but we got it's the cakes. So this is uh, sugar cube corner. Who's? Oh. Oh, it's a vice president of Stable Tech Scootaloo. Nice. What if it's not? Right, this is the future. Friends, the future may not be so secure as you think. Right, okay, and the war is... Where would you be when the mega war is happening. <laughs> you can secure your family's All right. future by reserving... Yeah, Pound and Pumpkin grown up. That, that's, those are nice models. From Stable Tech oh, this is that's sweet. right, Mr. I... Cake. You and your family can wait out the horrors of the mega spell devastation. I love this animation. And Mrs. Cake, the stable will have all of the amenities of your modern day Oh, so nice. And it's attractive. Oh, my goodness. Pumpkin Cake. In the stable, you might meet your special sun pony, Ooh. just like you would Dating want on the surface. Dating experience may vary. In a few short years, you and your stallion will repopulate Oh, this is very country. Fallout Shelter. Oh. Pound Cake, you will have lots of friends to play with. That's good. Reserve your family's spot in the state-of-the-art underground Hard work is today. happy work. Sign All right. up now and prepare for the future. That's great. Advertisement for Stable Tech. Oh! Yeah, Pony Joe's. This is... This is based off of uh, the trailer, huh? The, uh, the E3 trailer. I, I feel I feel like I should have known that. I guess the uh, 2008, because uh, World on Fire was 2007, I think. We're gonna zoom out. So is this? There's action after this, right? Oh, oh, nice! That model. That's fantastic. Oh, Canalots being nuked. Oh! Oh, Project Horizons is in this too! Oh my goodness! It's a crossover! Uh, mutants and and ghouls! Oh my god, Derpy! Oh! Oh, that was... Oh, oh that was wonderful! Uh, oh yeah, uh, Gardens of Equestria here with, with Spike. Pip's using sats on an alicorn. Okay. Is it a uh, Steel Ranger? Is that Steel Hooves, maybe? I don't know. Uh, he... He just, <laughs> he just destroyed that blimp with a vengeance. Oh my, oh my god. Bl a blackjack, oh, that raider is not doing too well. Holy crap. And Puppy Smile's taking out, taking out a robot. That's fun. What's this? The rangers are coming for you, Puppy Smiles. Oh, or they're evacuating. Um, whoa. Okay, all right. Uh, hold Jeez, everything! And, and now, uh, Blackjack and, and Puppy Smiles and Little Pip walking together. That, I, I'd pay to see that. Um, Lyra, you, oh my goodness. Right, all three stories. Oh, oh my goodness. I, I need a second. I'll, I'll be back for, for the outro. I need to collect my, uh, see you guys. Yeah, it was alright, I guess. But really, you just saw me fanboy out like a madman, and I would argue with good reason. Unless I'm forgetting something, I feel like these two videos join leaving the stable as the trifecta of Fallout Equestria animations. I would say that Argo still takes the crown in terms of sheer detail, in terms of nuance of the animation. He seems like he's very obsessive about being, you know, perfect with what he does. But these videos brought the action. The scale and the camera work on Out of the Frying Pan was phenomenal, and I think it's original material. At least in terms of structure, I know the map and the models were repurposed from elsewhere. But it told an awesome and intense adventure with Blackjack and Pip. It's been a while, I know they got together in Project Horizons at some point, but I don't know if this is taken directly from the script or not. But regardless, my fanboy dreams are coming true. And that set piece with the buildings? Beautiful. Listening back through my recording, I made a noise when they hoof bumped that I, I did not know I could make. And I guess that tells you something of what I thought of the moment. And that trailer parody was great as well. I had no idea Puppy Smiles and Blackjack would also join in on the fun. It seemed made just for people like me who have read all three of the stories. And it took me a while, but I did recognize the E3 2008 trailer. 
of Fallout 3. It's a bit less iconic than Set the World on Fire, but it's definitely a good one. And they did a great job retelling it with Stable Tech uh, VP Scootaloo and using the cakes as the nuclear family to show off uh, for the best, most effective propaganda. But I really loved seeing the wasteland and our protagonists out there in the show style animation. In that context, I'm certainly not used to seeing blood and gore like that, but I think the novelty actually added to my enjoyment. Though that headshot Blackjack had on the raider with the shotgun was brutal. The trailer was paced really well, ramping up the action until the giant climactic explosion. And then seeing our three heroes side by side was... it was nice. Whew. That was Out of the Frying Pan by Hero Strain and Fallout Equestria the Trailer Ponification by Lyra Animations. And fantastic job on both counts. I really hope we get more Fallout Equestria animations like these. I mean, I have this suit and this pit buck. What else am I going to do with them? Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you had as much fun as me, though I don't think that's actually possible. I will close with the phrase we all know and love. War. War never changes. Ante up.